What's up, guys? My name is Morgan, and this is Cracked Records. And this is and Cracked, this is Cracked, Cracked Records. Records. Oh, we're back. Uh, oh, we're back. Before we jump in, I'll just give you guys a quick intro for the new channel. Cracked Records is going to be the new platform for all my production sauce. So you can think of the subscription sort of like a Patreon. So you'll get access to literally everything that I make. Right now, we got four plugins and nine Ableton slash Max for Live devices, as well as everything I make in this video. And it's a whole lot of sauce. Today, we're going to be making a house based preset generator in Serum 2. So lock in and let's get it. All right, to get things started, we just have a fresh instance of Serum 2 and Macro Daddy. So Macro Daddy is one of the <laughs> Max for Live devices that's included in the Crack subscription. And the way that this works is instead of just having 16 macros, like you would in an instrument rack, you have 56. And what this allows us to do is to configure different parameters inside of Serum. And then we could map them by pressing map. And then from there, I made a randomized feature so that we could just use this to map everything inside of Serum to generate presets for us. And just to go over some of the other functionality of how this works, this randomizes all the different macros. And then from there, you could shift click over here to save presets. And then what you could do is just double click them to recall them. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna map this to a bunch of shit inside of Serum 2 and then randomize it till we get a good result and then save it over here. All right, so let's start fucking around here. So for oscillator A, we'll go basic shapes, sine wave, and then we'll do a sub out. We'll set these all to negative three, and then just make sure the phase and random are all the way turned down. So this way the sound is more consistent. And then from here, we'll set everything up on filter one, and then we'll do a low 24, just to give us a pluck here. This is shift option click. So we got that set up. Let's just go like this. And then from here, we'll just get a little bit of processing going. So we'll go compressor. And I have mine set up to be default OTT. And the way that you do this is, I believe, oh yeah, right here. And then you could just do save default preset. So I just changed it off single to multiband and then i just saved it right here so now we got that cooking and then we'll do an equalizer just to boost some of the mids to give us some girth turn this down because it's cooking and then we'll just do a distortion at the end just to make sure that it's not clipping out of serum all right now for the fun part so if you guys saw the shorter tutorial that I did, you'll know that what we could do inside of Serum 2 is we could just randomize the low 16 bins right here. So this just gives you a random set of the first 16 harmonics. So now it's just a super quick way to just make shit for you. And then from here, what we could do is we could just remove all these, or let's see. Yeah, we could just press delete on this. So from here, we could just go like that. And then what I like to do is, or you actually have control inside of here. So what we could do is we could go oscillator C, and then we just wanna make sure that we have a sine wave selected. And then from there, we could just do randomize low 16 bins, and then we'll go, we'll make sure B's off, and then. And then from there, what we could do is just start stacking a bunch of these inside of B. So now we could just do copy and then go to B, do plus, and then paste. And then we could go back to C right here, and then we could just do randomize low 16 bins. Easy. <laughs> and then from there, we could just copy, go back to B, paste right there, and we'll go back to C. We'll do this a couple more times. All right, so now we have 73 different wavetables in oscillator B, and then what we could do is morph all these and do crossfade. So this is just gonna give us all the in-between wavetables just to fill out the 256 frames. And then what we could do is go back out here and then turn off C and then turn on B. And just listen to some of the stuff that we got here. Let's make sure it's not that cranked. 
So now we have all of our wavetables inside of B. And then what we could do is shift option, drag it over to C. And then now we have access to two sets of it. And then we could set up our first randomization. So if we go to configure down here in Serum, we could do wavetable position right here, wavetable position right here. And then what we could do is open up macro dad. And then we'll just do map to B position, map to C position. So now what we could do is just nice, just randomize it every time. And then from there, we'll turn on key tracking on the filter. So this will just change the cutoff depending on what note you play. And then we could set up a couple more randomizations here. So we'll just do the cutoff and then set the range inside of here. And then we'll do the resonance and set the range to about and then what we want to do is, so some of these wavetables aren't full amplitude. And what you could do to fix that is you could just hit all right here and then just do normalize each. So that way it just fills out the whole amplitude of the wavetable. And then we'll do it the same for this one. So we'll go all normalize each. And then we'll also do, yeah, we'll also just keep this on default shapes. And then we'll just do configure right here and then do wavetable position one. And then we'll do map this over here. And then let's just get this, some of this dialed in. Maybe get a little bit of chorus in here. And then we'll actually do a clean sub and then just cut everything out of this. So we'll do equalizer right here. And then we'll do cut out the lows and then we'll use the sub as just the low end. And now we could start going crazy with the randomization. So if we turn the sustain down, we could get this envelope set up. So we want the decay to go from around 300 to maybe a second. So what we could do is hit this, or no, we could just use the macros to make it easy. So you could set up all the amounts using this. So we want about 150, oh no, let's do 200 to about a second right there. Too short, we'll go a little bit. And then we'll do the entire sustain. So we'll just leave that all the way up. I'll call this sustain right here. And then release, we'll do 160 to maybe one and a half seconds. And then from there, we could just hit configure and we'll do decay, sustain, release. And then we'll map, we'll get another page right here and we'll do map, decay, sustain, release. And then when we randomize, and then let's do a little bit of the fine tunes. So we'll do fine tune, fine tune, fine tune. And then for this one, so for these, we want it to go like 50. So 50 would be the middle. And then we'll do like 55. And then we can map these right here and then just check what that's doing. Yeah, so two cents, four cents, eight cents. So that's fine. So yeah, so we'll go. And we'll do 45 to 55 right here. And then we'll map this one to B. And then we'll do, let's say, 47 to 53 right here. And then we can map that to C and then randomize. And then let's do another OTT just to make it bigger. All right, so now we can start getting crazy with it. So we'll set up some warp modes. So we'll do pulse wave modulation right here. And then on this one, we'll just do it randomly because usually it gives the best results. And then for this one, we'll just do bend plus minus. And then maybe, no, we won't make it too complicated. So we'll just do one for each of these. And then for this one, we'll do just bend minus. And then from here, we could configure and just do this, that, that, and that. And then we could open up our macro dad and then just start mapping all of these. We get a new page right here and we'll hit this 
and then map this one. So now let's check out where we're at. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that one's girth. All right, so now we could just go stupid in the effects. So if we add an equalizer here, what we could do is put it first, and then we could just do random peaks with a different frequency, and that's just gonna change the tone super easily. So we'll just do this, and then we'll do this guy right here. And then we'll go, let's see. Yeah, we'll go about right there, and then we'll do this one, and then maybe a little bit wider. And then we'll go, we'll do it the opposite so they're more random. So we'll do 2K down to 250. And then we'll do peak one and then peak two. And then from there, we could just configure both of those. And then we could do map peak one, map peak two, and then check it out. Let's go. And then from there, maybe we want a little bit of distortion randomization. So we'll put this earlier in the chain and then we could do sign fold just because a lot of these don't have a ton of frequencies in them. And then we don't want it that gnarly. So we'll put the mix at about half and then we could do band pass for this. And then let's see what happens. And then what we'll do here is we'll just randomize the frequency right here. So we'll pull this up to probably 2K. This is distortion frequency. And then we do start running out of macros. And for whatever reason, I think this is a bug, but you can't configure the FX controls like you could in Serum 1, but I think they'll probably fix that. So that's why what I would usually do is just use the randomization with everything on the main page without mapping it to macros. And then you can use the macros to do the effects randomization. But for this, we'll just have this be set up on the last macro. And then what we could do is we'll just do a, a another random macro just on the drive here. So that could be a little bit different every time. And we'll just do about right there. And then we could do another separate macro that's just set up on the queue. And then we'll just do it to no particular amount. And then we just can configure the distortion frequency right there. And then we'll just map this to the distortion. And then let's just close this guy down. And then we could just randomize. And then shift click right here to store that and then randomize again. Let's go, huge. I won't sit here and map out all 81 of them, but you guys can see just how easy it is to randomize. And then even if it isn't like the best preset in the world, it'll just give you some inspiration and then you could just dial it in from there. So I'll fill up the rest of the bank with 81 presets and upload that to the site. And that's fucking all there is to it. All right, gang, that's going to do it for the house base generator. If you want to download all the sauce, links in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because we're going to the fucking moon. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.